Yeah, hello! What's good up, it's Verone Puss here with the top metal sets for each and every class. We're gonna go over top attacker, defender, runner, not as specifically in that order. I believe we're gonna go over... Actually, yeah, we're gonna go in that order. It's fine, whatever. Anyways, so building out these metal sets, these are generally the best all-around metal sets. Now, certain ones may be niche and maybe better for a specific character. It depends on this scenario. So like the crit sets, I didn't include the crit set because it's only good for crit characters. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you guys have not seen my previous video here, I recommend checking it out. It allows you to go over and look over different metal sets and kind of combine and filter out different ones that would be beneficial to your character. And I actually found a new set that I included in here that's actually really good for runners that I think just no one actually uses. So uh, granted it is an older metal set and may not be as achievable, but depending on the reruns, we'll see what events they have upcoming in the future. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started with the best attacker metal sets. All right, first thing that is up is the attacker metal set with the Luffy's. Now there is the Dress Rosa set situation that you have going on as well as the what is someone call it wano that's it the wano set going on so the wano is a little bit more mix matchy and you can kind of pick and choose which one's going to fit your niche scenario the best but the dress rosa one uh is generally really good you can fit the lofty you have the bounce man you have the lucy metal you get a little heels and even though that it is heels on cat flag you as an attacker probably won't be capping too neat but you do get a large amount of traits you have Six, seven, six, six tags, full out, triple effect. You have full 20% boost one, you have 20% skill two. I said it meant skill one, not boost one. Uh, so 20% skill one, skill two. You have the full 10% dodge, you have the 20% cap speed. On top of that, when your team has less treasure, you have 10% increased damage. And on top of that, when your allies are near the treasure area where you are at, you have a 10% increased damage as well. So that's 20% increased damage. So you're going to be doing large amounts of damage if you have less treasure and you're fighting with your allies, which does tend to happen. And then on top of that, when you're in the area around your enemy's treasure, you have another 5% damage from the Lucy metal or the Luffy metal, whatever it's called. Fire pistol, fire fist, pistol, red hawk metal. That's what that's called. Words are difficult. The King Kong one, when you're alone, comes with increased damage. Now that does cut out to the 10% that you get earlier, so that's a thing. And then you have the 5% heal. So all around, this is a really solid metal set. I really do enjoy it. You get that little heal when you do cat flags. It actually does come in clutch, and I feel like it goes a long way. Don't underestimate that one. As for the Wano ones, these ones for the tags can be a little bit different and vary by a little bit, depending on what you're using. If you use that Sumo Slap Metal, you have the increased damage of defenders. You have the Gear 5 has the knockback. You get 3% heal, which can be huge depending on what unit you're using. You have the Red Rock Metal. You get 5% damage increased towards the color you're strong against at any point in time, anywhere in the game, wherever it may be. It's lit. You don't even need to be on a flag. And then you have the Kong Gun Metal, which recovers 5% HP. When you are capturing a flag, as well as the three captains, which reduces the damage received by 3%. When you're in your treasure area, it is not 5%, so that part is a little bit of a bummer, but it is still good. So, it's still worth it, honestly. So, yeah, a variety of Luffy medals. They're huge, they're big, they're really solid overall. Next best overall attacker set, I'm going to go with the Boa set. It's huge. It actually was complete before the Luffy set, so this was one of the best medals before the Luffy set, but then this one kind of got outscaled by the Luffy set, in my opinion. So, the, again, these are not specific to all characters. They are generally good on all characters, but there may be ones that are nichely better on a specific unit. So this is just the overall, as like I would rate them, recommend you build them, and you can use them on a lot of units, I will say. Uh, the first one is the Hancock Metal. You get increased skill one cooldown by 13% when you have more treasures. Now, what sucks about this set I'm not going to say sucks, but what the one thing that this one has less of is the amount of tags. Your skill 1 tag is only 14%, but this 13% skill 1 trait does make up for it. So if you're in the lead, you're getting an extra 13%. So you're still going to end up with the, what is that, 14 plus 13 is 27% cooldown anyways. So it's going to be huge. The cap is 30, so that works out well, actually. And then on top of that, you have the Bikini Boa one, which you have when you have less treasure, you increase damage up by 5%. And then you have the Perfume Vimure Metal, which has when you're attacking an enemy around their treasure, you get 5% damage increase as well. And then you have the large tags. You have full skill 2. You have the full Kuja Pirates, which gives you the... Uh, when you're, no allies are around you, you have increased damage by 10%. So if you're fighting alone, which does tend to happen quite often, you can proc that. You have 10% dodge, which actually goes a long way. I will say it's important. You have 20% capture speed and then when the allies are near the trade area where you are increased damage dealt by 10% as well so 
you have a few things. You have the fighting alone. You have, you benefit, and when you have when you're fighting with someone, you have you benefit. So really, you have the 10% damage increase no matter what. So that actually is huge and does work its wonders. I will not lie. All right, next up, we have the, in general, kind of Charlotte family set. If you want to mix and match those, you could, but specifically, I'm talking about the Katakuri Metal set. You have the Katakuri Metal itself, gives 5% damage increase. You have the Buzz Cut Mochi Metal, has damage reduction. And then you have the Mochi Mochi Event Metal. Uh, real quick on Event Metals, you cannot get them unless you buy them from the shop for previous event medals. Otherwise, you can only get them for free when they're currently running. So this one, you might not be able to get until it runs back in the, si the shop, and it's only a couple dollars. Uh, depending on where you are at in the world, that could differ. But it is only a few dollars. It's not super expensive, but it is you do require you to spend IRL money, which does suck. Uh, but using skill 2, reduce the golden time of skill 1 by 5%, so it gives you that as well. Uh, comes with a large number of tags. You have all the skill 1s, the skill 2s, uh, which is a pretty big deal. You have the full basics those are nice and then all the charlotte family tags come with damage increase items so you have the sweet three generals when you have less treasure you have the 10 percent damage increase and the charlotte family tag when the allies are near you have 10 percent damage increase which are big so those are very useful and in general that's our top attacker metal sets all right next let's move into our defender metal sets now this first one is pretty basic it does have a fourth one that you can mix and match if you don't have one of the event medals now one of the pink medals is a cola and which is the anti the shock chance percent chance thing so that one is in the cola shop so that one's not an actual event medal it is just pink anyway but you can still get that you don't need to spend irl money for it but the other one you do need to spend money for it so anyways the first one up is end of the room metal when you're 7 percent or more reduce going of skill one by 13 percent you have the mamaragon metal when an area around your capture treasure reduce damage to by five percent the rumble rumble metal this is the cola shop metal this one you can get in there just as long as you have a certain amount of cola it will take you a minute to get that if you're a brand new player but if you're a veteran player this shouldn't be too difficult to get uh when attacked by an enemy three percent chance to inflict shock for five seconds is actually procs a lot more than you would think so will not lie next up is the kami metal this one you would need to spend money for in order to get in an old event metal rerun shop so that one is up to you if you want to be able to get that. When your allies are not near the treasure area where you are at, re reduce damage received by 5%. So overall, the tags on these allow you to get a large amount of damage reduction. And so I love it. It is actually insane. So you get the 10% damage reduction just from the two medals and being on your own flag, right? So you have that. So that's 10% right there. And then you have the mantra tag, which gives you 10% damage reduction when you have less treasure secure so that's 20 percent damage reduction easy and on top of that you have fat skill one and then you have the full triple tag on skill one skill two and then you have dodge the only thing that sucks about this metal set is you don't have capture speed you are a defender so generally you shouldn't be capping the flag anyway but it can hurt you sometimes when you are the only person out there and you do need to capture a flag all right next up let's talk about the bardo club metal set now this one does suck because it is event metal heavy it does have two event medals as in just one regular metal and on top of that it's bartholomeo so if you're able to get him that's good uh this one's maybe a little trickier to get overall but let's just start with it uh the barrier barrier metal when ally from your team is dead that you will get skill two reduced by six percent that's huge on top of that the next one you have the bartholomeo metal when you are around your captured treasure boost the cooldown reduction speed of skill two by 13 percent if you don't know where we're going with this this is a skill two cooldown heavy so the last one was more skill one oriented this one's more skill two oriented the hajrudan metal you get three percent damage reduction when allies are not near the flag where you are at and then on top of that with the tags that they have going you do only have you have skill one is 20 percent you have your bartho club is only 14 percent which gives you skill two by 14 percent so but the other two passives from the first two medals make up for that you have the paramecia tag which gives you seven percent dodge cooldown and then you have 20 percent capture speed and you have 10 percent damage reduction when allies are not near the treasure area where you are at which happens a lot when you're a defender so that's why this one's actually really really good and i really do enjoy using this metal set itself all right this last one for defenders is a little bit older and honestly might be getting more out of date at this point uh, you are running Fuji Tora metal, so this is a weird mix matchy one. This one actually had the highest damage reduction originally until the new Nell event metal came out. I think this one actually still technically can hit higher damage reduction. Uh, we'll calculate it as we go. So uh, the only thing that sucks, it does only have 14% skill one cooldown, 14% skill two cooldown, and it does have the full 10% dodge. 
And then on top of that, when allies are not near the treasure area where you are at, you get 7% damage reduction. So let's calculate it. So the Fujitora medal, you get 5% damage reduction. So that's 5%. You have the Hobby Hobby medal, gives you 3% damage reduction. So that's, what is that, 8% right now, right here that we're at? Perfect. And then the Corazon medal, so we are 8% plus 5, we're going to be at 13% when you're in your captured treasure. And then when you are down in treasure, or when you are alone on the flag, you get that Don Quixote family. So when your allies are not near you, you get 7%. So it gets up to 20% damage reduction. So really the Anel set is this, but better. Uh, this is just a different style. And this one's actually worked really well because you it's one of the highest damage reduction metal sets that exists out there. Uh, this one honestly might be outdated, so... This one might be pushing it, because there are better options. We'll get into that at the end of the video as some of the best all-around medals that I think are just great for almost any class. We'll talk about those at the end. All right, next, let's talk about the runner medal sets. This first one up is going to be the Animal Kingdom Pirates. There's so many Animal Kingdom Pirates medals, and there's so many combinations that you can make, whether it be defender, runner, or attacker. They're all pretty solid overall. Uh, this first one is going to include the King Medal, which gives you cap speed while you're at 8% when you're... Increased cap speed by 8% when your allies are not near you. Uh, you have increased your health by 5% when you capture the flag, and then you get skill 2 cooldown is increased by 13% when you're just sitting on the enemy flag. So it actually goes a long way. They do have pretty solid tags. They have 5 tags total for triple effect. You have 20% skill 1, 20% skill 2, 10% dodge. I lied, you do have the Fishman one, is only the pair effect because there's only 2 jack medals. And so that one you get speed is increased by 10% for the first 14 seconds when you spawn. So it does actually, it is pretty nice and it does start out at the very beginning of the game as well. And then you have the 20% capture speed as well, capture speed as well. So overall, this one's really, really nice. I do enjoy this metal set. It is kind of a fun one to work with. And honestly, one that is, I think, not used very often. Uh, and then you can include the Heliceratops. This is a kind of a different mix match if you want to re-swizzle re it. You have the Heliceratops one, gives you increased cap speed when your HP is more than 80%, more than 70%, jeez words. And then if you want to throw this one in here, the Jack Human Monster form, when there are 60 seconds or less, you can boost the capture speed by 6%. So if you could run that as well, if you're willing to do that, that's up to you. You can just mix match those. Um, entirely your call, whichever you're feeling. Uh, this next one is unique. This is very different. I found this one through the set, and I think it actually can be viable if you're going for pure runner and pure capture speed. So the first one to start off is going to be Luffy Stampede Metal. When your allies are near the treasure area, area where you are at, boost capture speed by 6%. Then you have the Starving Skeleton Metal. When your HP is 70% or more, boost capture speed by 8%. That is huge as well. And then you have the Kong Gun Medal, which gives you 5% HP recovery when you capture a flag. So these go a long ways. They actually have pretty solid tags. They have three triple effect, two double effect. It is, it goes, it, it's really nice, it's really, really nice. I was actually impressed with how good this one actually ended up being. And then this last one is going to be pretty basic. It is your standard runner metal set. This looks very similar to the attacker one. You start off with the Fire Fist Pistol Red Hawk Metal. You have increased damage by 5%. You have the Billow White Metal, which increases your capture speed by 8% when the treasure is above 50. Now, that actually goes so much longer of a way now that defenders charge the flag up to 150%, so it actually works. You get a lot of dividends out of it, I'm not going to lie. And then the last one is the Scalpel Metal, when the HP is 70% or more, boost capture speed by 8%. So it actually is really nice. comes with a large amount of tags. You have 5% in tags. Uh, most of them are triple effect. I think the only one that's not triple effect is your skill 2, so you only have 14% cooldown on your skill 2. That is okay, depending on what unit you're using, and depends on which one you're running for that. So, overall, really, really, really solid. All right, now, lastly, I wanted to talk about this metal set. I know many of you probably are like, Rowan, why did you put this in for any of the other classes? It's because I wanted to just throw this in as, like, probably the best metal set in the entire game. This is the, the best that you can get, I'm not going to lie. So... Uh, starting off, if you are these first two event ones are geared towards playing as an attacker. So this metal set I think is good on attacker, runner, defender, no matter what you're playing. If you're gonna build out one metal set, I strongly recommend it being the Kaido set. And any of these metals you can include in whatever. So the first one, the strongest creature metal. When attacking an enemy around your enemy's treasure, increase damage dealt by five percent. Big. Okay, increased damage as an attacker. We love that. 
The next one, Kaido, the human monster form medal. After KOing an enemy, reduce the cooldown time of skill 1 by 8%. So skill 1, it's, it's lit. Depending on which unit you are, that skill 1 could go a long ways. Uh, certain units like to have skill 1, certain units like to have skill 2. It depends on who you're playing, but overall it's not going to hurt you. So it's really, really good. I think it's perfect. These latter three are... Easier to get since those first two are old event medals. Again, you will have to pay money if you don't already have those event medals on you. So just something, just again, warning for you. Uh, these other ones you can get for free if you are able to accumulate all the Kaidos or play with Kaidos in your games. So the first one is the Conqueror of Three Worlds Ragnaraku Medal. When you capture a treasure, reduce the cooldown time of skill 1 by 8%. If you haven't noticed, it is skill 1 heavy, but that's okay. Even if you are a skill 2 oriented person, this metal set is still phenomenal. Uh, this Kaido metal, when attacked by an enemy, 100% chance to reduce the cooldown time of skill 1 by 2%. Big, that actually goes a long way, especially if you're a big tanky defender. And the last one, the Blast Breath Metal. When an area around your capture treasure, increase damage dealt by 5%. I think that's really nice because it allows you to defend yourself and protect yourself so you don't have to worry about getting beat up by a lot of people. And overall, this Kaido set is so good because it comes with triple effect on six tags, which is huge. So nearly, basically the same as the Luffy, but I feel like it's a lot more universal in the way that it works. Now the Luffy is all like damage increase. Now this one comes with cooldown. It's phenomenal. So you get full skill one, skill two, dodge, capture, capture speeds, cooldown, and then you get increased damage dealt when you have less treasure, and then you have increased damage reduction when you have less treasure. So you're kind of just thriving all around. So. If you have less treasure, you're, you're cooking. Or I, I lied. The damage reduction comes from being alone on the flag. That's what I meant to say. So you get 10% damage reduction when fighting alone on your flag, which happens a lot when you're a defender. So overall, that occurs a lot. So anyways, that is my top medals recommendations overall. These are the top medals in the games. If you can build these out, I strongly, strongly recommend it. It will go a long ways. But anyways, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys found this video useful. Make sure to check out that uh, guide metal maker. I have the video. The link will be down in the description below. You can find that there. And also check out my Twitch, Twitter, and Discord. Join and follow those. I would appreciate that very much so. As well as Instagram. Uh, at Roman Puss. That's all it is. So, Or at Roman Puss Low on Twitter. So that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. I hope to see you guys on the next one. Yeah, holy peace, beautiful people.